Hello there, I'm Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop, and it's another custom build from our Glock Store Custom Group. <laughs> All right, here it is. This is a Glock. I mean, check this out. This is a Glock Gen 4 19. Glock 19 Gen 4. And um, it is one of a kind. Well, actually, I think we built one of these just a little while ago that's kind of similar to this. So this is one of those where I think we... We had one a couple of months ago, and someone looked on the website and said, hey, I like that, just do this, but change this. So they did a couple of changes. Magazine's out. Let's go ahead and check inside to make sure this gun is unloaded. Yes, it is. Pull the trigger in a safe direction. Voila. Okay. Glock 19 Gen 4. Start off as a plain black Glock. That's what you have to remember about these guns. You look at it, you go, wow, that's really cool. But if you think about the fact that it was a plain black Glock, and here it is now, that's when you go, wow, that's really cool. Okay? Because... Well, I, it is. I mean, we do <laughs> we do some amazing stuff, and I, um, I I'm really proud of the work we do because it is good. Now these guns not only look good, okay, it's really important to keep that in mind. They look pretty cool. They're different, and um, you know some people you know have all kinds of crazy ideas, and we implement them. But we always make sure they shoot better. That's what you have to remember. All right, so this started off as a Glock 19 Gen 4, plain black, and we did, of course, uh, many different things, probably everything to this particular gun. <laughs> uh, this is a um, uh, slide cut we did with the front serrations. So we added front serrations to the existing slide. And then we refinished in a polished gold titanium nitride. Okay, so that's a, a finish that really has some great advantages to it. One of the advantages of the gold titanium nitride is that it really lasts forever. I mean, it, it's very hard to scratch that off or to nick that off or to bump that off. Whereas a Cerakote, you have to be careful because they could get dented or scratched fairly easy. You know, you want to be careful. They can wear off with some use and some handling. This finish will not wear off with use and handling. I mean, it will really stay there for a while. And it looks pretty cool, too. And gold, of course, is, you know, is beautiful. I mean, so uh, this is a gold theme. As you can see, we did all the extended controls in gold. Uh, with uh, what we call, now this is an interesting one, this is a custom white marble hydrographic finish. And those of you who know, the hydrographic is a dip. So that means it's dipped in there and kind of coated on top of the black. And then what we do is we clear coat it. You can see it has a little bit of shine to it. And the clear coat helps keep that coating, that that. Uh, that dip coating onto the gun itself. And that's really important because I have noticed if you don't clear coat them, sometimes they have a tendency to wear with regular use. Now this gun, you know, of course, will with regular use will, will last several years. Uh, and if you don't really use it a lot, it'll last for a long time. But the, the, the weakest link here is going to be this clear coat finish or this uh, hydro, hydrographic dip finish. So that in my mind, it's pretty darn cool looking just to look at, that's for sure. And it will shoot great too. So what we've done here is we've done a gold and this white marble theme. You'll notice that the extended controls are also in gold. The pins are in gold. So that's really our pin kit, our gold pin kit we sell, as well as our extended, uh, uh, this is the serrated magazine button. And we have that available in serrated as well as checkered. And then the gold big mouth magwell, pretty cool. And that's functional in many ways, especially on the 19. I really like the magwells on the 19 because they allow you to get a better grip and they cup my fingers almost perfectly. So really on the back of the gun, my hand doesn't fall off. It goes perfectly aligned. And then I've got my finger driving upwards, which is what that ramp does. That's what I want. I want to be as high up on the gun as possible and I want to maintain that. So I've got a really strong grip, not only back here where the beaver tail is, but also on the front. So now I'm controlling the gun. If I'm lower on this, or if my hand is wobbling around a little bit, the gun's jumping around and I don't have the same accuracy. And that's what the grip is all about. In fact, accuracy, in my mind, starts with the grip. And consistency is accuracy. So if your grip is degradating from shot to shot, your accuracy will degradate from shot to shot. And that's really important to keep that in mind. So all the best shooters in the world that I know have a really strong handshake because, well, most of these guys, you know, most of these best shooters have worked with their hands. So, you know, the question was always in my mind, um, were they stronger before they started shooting and became a good shooter because they had strong hands or 
did they become stronger as they shot and became a better shooter because they developed strong hands? I think it's the other way around. I think the guys who I knew back in the early days of all the competition shooting, the Rob Lathams, the Brian Enoses, uh, the Michael Voigt's, uh, you know, I can go down a list of Chip McCormick's, all those guys worked with their hands prior to really getting deeply involved in the shooting business. Jerry Barnhart, all these guys were either mechanics or doing something of, uh, of uh, consistency with their hands, and their hands got really strong, and so hence they always had a strong grip on the gun. So what I, I'm divesting because I think that this Magwell does just that. It gives you a strong grip on the gun, and the stronger and better grip you have, the more you control the handgun. All right, so that's why this piece in my mind is not only attractive because it matches all the way up, but it's also functional. Now this gun, I've got the magazine out. You'll notice we have one of our heavy extended aluminum base plates on the bottom too. So you'll see uh, the Magwell does two things. It, it really does help you seat magazines because it's a bigger hole, but in my mind, again, it's, it's an optical illusion. Now you have something bigger to kind of start it into and you can seat it and then go right back to action. Drop the magazine, do it again. You need to come up, you want to turn it just a little bit, keep that magazine in front of your face. So, you know, all the guys who are shooting, they come up back here. They don't come down here. So the trick is you're up here, you come up here, seat and go back out. Shorter movement, but also a little bit more ergonomic to your body if you have that magwell right in front of your face. So if you're looking for speed on mag checks, you wanna, you wanna drop that magazine up here and bring it back up here right in front of your face and come back out. All right, so that's our extended heavy uh, uh, aluminum base plate which actually works perfectly with any kind of magwell. Alrighty, so now let's see the other thing we did. Of course, we you know did the barrel and the gold titanium nitride as well. Um, and all the pieces you know are matching up in gold. It really makes a nice little little feature uh, because again, it's it's kind of an ergonomic deal there, just the way it looks. Uh, we have now something else to look at, which I think is probably the most important thing, is the tungsten guide rod as well as our pyramid trigger. So we've got a um, uh, a Gen 4 tungsten guide rod in there. So we replace the plastic, the black plastic, with our tungsten. Now the heavier weight of the tungsten helps reduce felt recoil, but also muzzle jump and muzzle flip as you shoot. So shot to shot, you get better shots because the gun tends to stay on target. So even if you have the best grip in the world, the gun's jumping a little bit, you're still there. But now because of that dead weight under the barrel, the gun doesn't jump as much. And people always ask me, well, how much? How, what's the percentage of, you know, it's kind of hard to say based upon the ammo you are using and, and really a lot about you as a shooter too. But I will say this, if you're a new shooter or, or you know, kind of new to this thing, you're going to notice a 30% decrease in muzzle flip. Okay? That's not a very scientific guess, but it's based upon observation and the feedback I get from customers who buy a tungsten guide rod for their one gun come back and buy a bunch more for all their other guns, tell their friends or friends buy them. So that is really one of our most uh, viral products. When you try the tungsten guide rod, compared to the factory guide rod, you're gonna say, oh, well, you know, no brainer. Okay, and that's what happens. People just continue to buy them. Okay, the other thing, of course, is a pyramid trigger. Now, the pyramid trigger is really cool for many reasons. One, it's attractive. This one uh, is our flat face pyramid trigger. We have it available in flat face as well as the standard curved. Flat face takes off because it's just kind of racy looking and kind of cool. This one would be called red, black, gold. That's the color scheme. So you'll see the red is for the shoe itself. Black is the insert and gold is the safety. Red, black, gold is how you'd call it out. Okay, and uh, again, it's the gold theme. Red is just, you know, a little racy, kind of cool. And the black, of course, is always good. Black and red and gold always go together. Those are great colors, great color scheme. So, you know, our customer did a nice job in, in matching all this up. It's not only attractive, but it has the ability to give you a shorter, lighter, and crisper trigger pull. Now, let's talk about that real quick. Let me demonstrate. So you pull the trigger is right there. Reset is right there. So now, what we've done is we've shortened the overall stroke of the trigger. Because of that, you are able to manipulate the trigger faster. And with less movement and less pull, because it's lighter, remember, okay, because it's lighter now, all that stuff adds up as you go from shot to shot because you're not disturbing the sight picture as you pull the trigger. 
Just like that. Okay, that's really the, I mean, the essence. You have less opportunity to disturb the sight picture as you pull the trigger. So if you're out here and you got your sights all lined up and as you pull the trigger, if it's a long trigger pull, the sights are moving. Now the gun's always moving. Keep that in mind. No one's rock solid out here, okay? I mean, the gun is always going to be moving, but as you pull the trigger, that's where most people introduce accuracy problems, especially when it's a long yank. Because of that, the gun's all over the place. And when people who are new shooters, who are, you know, not as trained, their finger gets a little tired and... After a while, they're, uh, they're, you know, they're putting some other muscles into it, so the gun's all over the place, and they're trying to figure out what's going on, or they're anticipating, uh, you know, let me, uh, and you know, so this helps eliminate a lot of that too because it's a shorter stroke. So all that said, the pyramid trigger not only looks good, it really provides a great function. It allows you to shoot faster and more accurately, just like that. So there it is. Uh, there is the uh, uh, new custom build. We're about to ship this off to our customer. I'm glad I got a chance to look at it and to uh, talk about it because, uh, as you can see, I uh, really enjoy what I do. I enjoy the process of not only building these guns, but knowing that we can make them better in some ways. Okay, A Glock is a great gun. I mean, trust me, it is the most popular handgun in the world for a reason because it's great already. We just enhance some of the things and change a couple of things that make it a little bit easier to manipulate as well as shoot. And because of that, we've got a full custom shop full of guns ready to be uh, built. And uh, we're, we're getting them every day. So I encourage you, if you've got a custom build in mind, you've got something you want to build, have an idea, look on our website, get some ideas, mix and match. That's the way a lot of these things happen. Guys see something he likes over there, says, oh, I like that one too. Can we do this and this? You know, I like this, but I want this color. Yes, it's all custom. And that's what we're here to do, to help you build a custom gun that not only looks good, but shoots better. And I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. And we're in San Diego, so if you're ever down this way, drop in. Check out some of the guns we have. We've got pictures, of course, but we have some on display. And then shoot them and see for yourself why a Glock Store custom gun is a good investment. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.